everybody. Welcome to Soapbox. Uh, we have a pretty exciting show tonight, uh, especially for you, those of you out there that like Bernie Sanders. Um, before we get started with introductions, uh, I want to uh, tell you about our underwriters. Uh, first one is Pieces Pizza by The Slice, uh, including low-fat, vegan, and gluten-free options, as well as a fine selection of beer, wine, soft, and soft drinks. We thank you for keeping us fueled by supplying pizza for the crew. They're located at 1309 21st Street in Sacramento, phone number 916-441-1949. And also, uh, James Israel with Humor Times. This is a monthly political humor magazine. It's available worldwide by subscription in print digital format. <coughs> it says, don't cry about the news, laugh about it with Humor Times. Cartoons, funny fake news, videos, and more info can be found at Humor Times. And I also want to rem remind everybody out there that we do have a Facebook page. It's Soapbox Sacramento. And you can also find us on YouTube at Soapbox Sacramento. So tonight, and the, we're going to have a wonderful time, we have uh, Eric Sunderland uh, from it's Sacramento for Bernie Sanders. And along with him is Karen Bernal, who is also um, one of the driving forces of Sacramento for Bernie Sanders. And we have a very special guest here, uh, somebody who a few of you may know. Used to see here a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Our original soapbox host, Jeannie Keltner, who's also got a current radio um, gig on KVMR. Yep. And she's an avid Bernie supporter, so welcome all of you. And Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. we'll jump right in. Where do we want to begin? Let me start because I want to say I'm the elder here, and I want to say I never believed that I would see a candidate for president of the United States that would speak honestly about the problems that we face, the profound problems that we face that may end by destroying this country. Actually, that's yeah. how critical it is right now. It's scary. And I think this is what people are saying whenever I talk to them, they're saying things like, he's saying everything that I've been thinking. It's not, let's make America great again. We know America is not great right now. We know that America has huge problems. We want to talk about it. We want to think about it. We want to change it. So. To see this person of great humanity and great compassion and his love of justice and then the fact that he's not bought, yes. that gives me courage to believe that he'll even come over more to our side right. and become more, he has become more peace oriented as this campaign has gone on. So I am so excited and thrilled and I'm delighted to be able to put my effort behind somebody that I believe in so completely. So that's where I am. I agree. Um, yeah, I mean, you said it all. I mean, okay, uh, let's goodbye. <laughs> he's 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 brought so many different people together, and I mean, uh, I can't think of a what a unifier he's been, um, and the fact that he is uh, got great support among those self-identified independents um, says a lot. You know, not just only some of the Democrats, but uh, uh, the self, the independents. Um, cynics, people have been that have grown very uh, heartbroken and weary, um, are now inspired again. Yes. Um, young kids who who have grown up really cynically because of the world we live in and what they see. I mean, he's inspired that following. Um, yes, we're we're really excited. It's fun. Yes. Yes, yes. it is. Yes. Yes, and, it's fun. And the, and the excitement is, is being reflected in the numbers in California. I mean, obviously, we're, in, we're looking at California. California is going to make a difference this time. Yes, and, it is. And uh, voter registration numbers are through the roof right now. Uh, we have many people who are new voter registrations, and people are switching over from minor parties so that they can, uh, you know, vote for Bernie in the primary. It's, it's super, super exciting. Uh, that this is coming to California. This yeah. might be the moment to say about switching your party. Oh yes, okay, so um, as our number one priority going forward for the next few weeks until May 23rd, which is when you have until uh, you, you can change your registration, um, that's when the deadline is, May 23rd. Um, the situation that we have here in California is 
Uh, a lot of people who self-identify as independent voters, um, it's, it's uh, come up that easily over half a million people are, um, have registered with the American Independent Party, mm -hmm. which is an actual party, a very conservative one, one that was founded by George Wallace but from back in the segregationist days. And um, the only two um, universes that will be able to vote for Bernie in the primary will be the, uh, if you're registered as a Democrat or no party preference, which is uh, in a different area than where the parties are located on the registration form. Uh, so uh, we're going to be, for the next few weeks, really focused on the minor parties. Yes, we're going to be reaching out to Democrats as well, but the minor parties um, and the, this universe known as AIP or American Independent Party to let them know, by the way, uh, did you know that you're actually registered with a party that cannot vote for Bernie um, if, you're, if they do support him? Um, so that's, that's, and we need all the help we can get. Yeah. So we encourage our viewers who may be watching, please show up and, and help us. What reach kind as of many... help would they be giving? Well, the kind of help that we would need, uh, and Eric can go into that much more, but we need help with phone banking and canvassing. Uh, we need to hit the doors, we need to hit events, and we have to reach as many voters as possible with registration forms to get them to sign over. And uh, they can contact you on Facebook. You have a Facebook page? Absolutely, yeah. So uh, Facebook, uh, Sacramento for Bernie. Uh, the Facebook page, it, uh, we list all events uh, we do. You can also go to berniesanders.com uh, backslash or forward slash events and they have a map and you can find events near you and we post all of our local events uh, there as well. So, uh, well, I've been phone banking places. at home. Uh, it's not hard. Right. Uh, I did have one day of problems, but on the whole, you can, they, you just follow the steps that they lay out and you get the little numbers and you fill them in. And at first I was intimidated and I thought, what do you say? But it turns out to be very easy and sometimes you get to chat with people and sometimes they say, I wouldn't vote for Bernie Sanders if he was the last Burton on earth. <laughs> you know, yeah. So I thought, fine, bye. <laughs> yes. Well, the other thing too is we mentioned events. Um, we do have a, a big event coming up at the end of the week uh, that maybe our viewers should know about. Um, we have a barnstorming coming up, and Eric, do you want to tell them about that yeah. a little bit? Yeah, I mean, a barnstorm, uh, I've been doing like electoral politics and elections for a long time. A barnstorm is, is pretty unique to the Sanders campaign. It's a, it's a tool that we use to get a whole bunch of people who are excited about Bernie but maybe don't know how to plug themselves in. Right. Uh, that's what we do. So we get a whole bunch of folks. Uh, at our last barnstorm, we had over 200 people in the room. Uh, they're excited about Bernie, but they don't know exactly how to help Bernie, and we, and we help them uh, plug them into canvassing or phone banking or, or other, other things that we can do that we need to do to get Bernie elected, registering voters. Yeah. Mm. Right. So when are you barnstorming? Well, we have one coming up this Friday, uh, the 29th. Okay. Uh, yes. Now, this show is showing... One week from tonight. Oh, yes. I see. Well, oh, sorry you missed it. Sorry. <laughs> but it was really good. I hope you were there. Well, yeah. we'll, we'll do it again. We're going to do it again. Well, well, actually, we will be doing it again. We'll yeah, be of course. doing it a couple of times. But um, the one thing that uh, when uh, our viewers watch this, uh, they should know that um, we phone bank four days out of the week during the week and then on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday, we're canvassing two shifts on both days, on Saturdays and Sundays, we're starting to hit the doors. Uh, so, uh, and this is how we're going to reach people because um, interestingly, you know, since Bernie um, has appealed to people outside the political party system, um, it's very, very easy to, to knock on a door and, and then just say, we're out registering voters who are supporters of Bernie Sanders. And uh, almost always we hear, uh, well, so am I, but you know, I'm not registered with the parties. But, oh. And then we get to tell them. So th for the next few weeks until May 23rd, this is the kind of help that we're going to need. So. Because I confess I have had people, can you believe, and I believe this because if people haven't learned by now through this campaign how foul the commercial corporate media is, <laughs> how corrupt, how yeah. disinforming, misinforming, uh, it's unbelievable. I have never seen anything like it. 
Yes. The night after he won three in a row with big margins, I get my mail through Yahoo. <laughs> I scroll down through Yahoo. He's not mentioned in the uh, news scroll. It was amazing. It's, they've been finally forced to cover him. Yes. yes. But there are people out there who do not know who Bernie Sanders is. Mm -hmm. If yep. they're just watching corporate media. That's horrible. And he's breaking crowd records everywhere he goes. Uh, I, I mean, hope, put that up, I hope I people will put that up again, that wonderful I, picture I mean, of the crowd. He's, he's breaking all sorts of records. He's breaking, Obama was a nominal, uh, you know, he was an anomaly as far as how many people he got out, how much money he earned, how many phone calls. Uh, Bernie Sanders is laying that all, <laughs> all to rest. Yeah, so. Amazing. It's, it's uh, amazing. you know, the, the fundraising at $27, never been done before in this, in this, scale uh, the phone the phone banking from all over the country going into the these targeted states never been done before in this scale there's so it's many amazing. firsts going on with yeah. him this, yeah. this has never happened in our history and 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 um, going back to the diversity about uh, it's been wonderful and inspiring to see uh, you know, African Americans for Bernie, Latinos for Bernie. There's a Sikhs for Bernie. No, I mean a API Karen for Bernie. <laughs> hasn't Hillary's campaign told us that Hillary has all the people of color sewn up? Uh, I don't. I don't know. Um, from my own experience, uh, uh, I beg to differ. Um, the other thing coming up too is May 1st. We have the DNC delegate elections coming up everywhere in California. On that same day. Uh, both Hillary and Bernie delegates will be at separate meetings at the same time. Um, and, and everyone, anyone who is a registered Democrat, um, the average citizen can come and vote for the, some of us who have applied to run as DNC delegates mm -hmm. to uh, and they the could National vote for these two guys. And yes. both Eric and I have applied. There's other really great people that have as well. Um, uh, but, I mean, we're running and... Um, uh, those uh, for the Bernie side is going to be at the Sierra 2 Center, which is okay. at 2791 24th Street. It's where 24th and 4th Avenue meet, uh, and that'll be on Sunday, May 1st. If uh, Come at 2 o'clock. If you're in line by 3 o'clock, you'll receive a ballot, and you can vote for us. And if you don't want to stay, you can vote and leave. If you want to stay and listen to the speeches, you can do that as well. How many people are actually running for this? Oh, gee. Uh, so, so the elections are, are happening statewide in every congressional district. Um, yes. Uh, so there will be an election for Hillary delegates and an election for Bernie delegates in each congressional district. Um, more people, a lot more people have filed to be Bernie delegates than <laughs> Hillary delegates. So there's a little more excitement <laughs> on the Bernie side. Um, I believe there might be 20 seven or so women uh, running, and it's men and women, so, so they try and uh, gender. 50, 50. Yes, gender, they try to yeah, do that. They try and do a gender balance, so they'll, each, each congressional district will, like the six, will elect three men and three women. Yes, and then depending on who wins the primary um, or the, the, the percentages of the win to loss ratio in that congressional district, that will determine how many Hillary delegates and how many Bernie delegates mm -hmm. go the, to the convention you know, in, the delegate, in the congressional district. Like the delegate split that we've been watching go on all over the country where uh, he gets these delegates. That, that happens in, in California. It happens after, you know, we, we select the delegates and then we have the election. Right, right. And speaking of, of enthusiasm, I mean, uh, Eric brought up a very good point about how we had uh, we've seen that there's many more Bernie delegates that have signed up because of the enthusiasm. And I mean, I, I think that uh, it's one of the uh, things that we constantly stress to people at the door that um, if we hope to take the White House, we need to elect someone who is going to generate that kind of en enthusiasm to beat the other side, to beat the Trumps or the Cruises that will be the eventual uh, Republican nominee, mm -hmm. and we know that between the two candidates on the Democratic side, Bernie Sanders, hands down, has generated the kind of enthusiasm that's just been off the charts. Um, we we think that he is going to be the winner um, if he can make it through the primary. If, we if he have can the beat white the DNC, yeah. right? Exactly. He's electable. If, if we and get the nominee, we yeah. have the White House. He can House. beat, we he have, can yeah. beat I mean, the and, Republicans. In every polling, he beats the Republican. Yeah. Um, 
candidate, uh, hands down, in some cases by double digits. So I've talked to people on the phone who said, I was a Republican. I, I changed my party to vote for Bernie. Oh, that's great. I mean, not just one, several. Mm -hmm. He appeals. Mm -hmm. People are hungry to hear the truth. Yes. People are so sick of lies. I remember my kids when they were little watching a commercial on TV, and they were just little guys, and it was the Mars bars, they shot with flavor, and both of the kids went, liars! <laughs> <laughs> We've been lied to too much, and there is something about, I swear, when I watch Bernie begin one of his speeches, I tear up. And when I see his ads, mm -hmm. he's oh, got geniuses his ads. working on his ads. His ads are art artistry, I feel. I like to say, instead of make America great again, make America honest again. And uh, I think we, we're all of a, some of us anyways, are of a certain age. I remember uh, a, a slogan for one candidate, Shirley Chisholm, um, you know, unbought and unbossed. Mm -hmm. And I really feel that this slogan applies to Bernie. Right. I like yes. that. He's, he stood with what he has believed in. And that's why, you know, he's gotten better on peace. Yes. Much better as he speak, mm. as he see. When he got up in Portland or Seattle, I forget which one it was, he, he stopped for a minute and he just looked around. And I thought he was going to cry. It, you could tell he was in wonderment yeah. at what had happened. That's right. Huge. It was like, yeah. who would have thought that we yeah. could do this? It's yeah. bigger than him. It's yeah. huge. Yeah. He's... he's He's at the front of a very large parade, is, is what it is, and he, and, right. and he knows that, and that's why it's going to keep going on. And that's why and he's in it till the end. Yes, he yeah. is definitely in it to the end. I think we're all excited as Californians that we are actually going to get to vote in a contest. Yes, it's about And uh, don't listen to the mainstream media. We're in this to win it. We're in it to the end, and we're going to take it all the way to the convention. It's just like Howard Cosell. He could go all the way, and he's going to. <laughs> he's going to. So <laughs> well, we've got about ten minutes out. So you know, we want to make our most important points and show our love for Bernie. Well, money to me is key. Where the economy is key. Yes. Mm. And you know, I've said on this show many a time. I have a nice little pension for my work as a teacher. Mm -hmm. I have social security. But it's no fun to have your needs met if every time you go out and down your street in Midtown, you see people sleeping on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. And if you don't see the people, you see the cardboard. That was their home last night. Mm. And I think, how can this, this is like what Bernie says, how can it be? In the richest country in the world, we have more poor kids than any other country in yeah. the world. How can we do this to the people mm. around us? Well, there are things on YouTube that will blow your mind. And one of the things I tell people is go to YouTube. If you don't know much about Bernie, put Bernie's name in there and watch a few speeches. Mm. Then yeah. you'll come and call us. Yes. Right. You know, because he'll inspire you that we can do it, we can change it. It's only a matter of will. They, uh, we are many. Yes. They are few. Mm. Yes. And he's it's speaking true. from the heart. Yes. And people hear that and they respond yes. to it. I, it. It's something. It's human nature. You can you can really see it. And um, I think as an older person, one of the things that I'm most um, inspired by that really does make me emotional is to see children, like in high school and in school, how many times. The kids are so cynical now. They won't listen to any adult. <laughs> they won't listen to their parent. They won't listen to anyone but a 74-year-old guy named Bernie, <laughs> who, knew? Who, who they just love. And, and when I see that, it does almost sometimes bring a tear to my eye because yeah. it just, it, it's magic. And, it's hard. Uh, yeah, it, it is. And, um, and speaking of which, you mentioned about the piece. Um, I haven't seen a candidate uh, that is listening to people the way that he is. I mean, when you see uh, the other candidate, and if there has been some movement, it almost seems very politically expedient. But whereas with Bernie, I, I do get this uh, sense that he's actually evol evolving. For real. He's listening and he's bringing into his fold um, and as part of his vision, these thoughts that other people have come up with that he didn't consider before and he is now responding to. I want to say, uh, if I know Eric, it's really your turn. And, uh, yes, it uh, is. But I'm so Go. used to being the hostess. <laughs> You know, but the thing that I have against the other candidate, and I want to make this really clear, 
I do believe that if we don't choose Bernie, if we choose the other candidate, we will be in a war before the four years is over. Yes. This is the most bellicose, uh, uh, argumentative, anger-filled candidate that I can imagine. Scary. And all she talks about is more boots on the ground. And if you read a little more about Libya, yes. that was a complete war of choice, mm -hmm. and it was a war of choice around gold, really, and gold and oil. He wanted to go to his gold African dinar. And for that alone, that country was decimated. A functioning country that had actually a man that they loved at the head of it. There was more love to Muammar Gaddafi mm. than most of our mm -hmm. politicians. And he was killed in a horrible way that she laughed about in public and on the basis of faked evidence. Yeah. This is bad. That yes. disqualifies her to me. And interventionist strategies, not oh. not just there, but in in Haiti, where they yes. they forced the wages down in Haiti. Oh, uh, from, ridiculous! They were tried to raise it to sixty six cents, and they forced it down to thirty three cents. In Honduras, yes. uh, yeah, yeah, kick the man out. Where where they they had the coup in Honduras, and and now we've seen all of these murders, and then these children who are walking across the border because because of some things that were created by. Our policies, our you yeah. know, our our State US Department. State yeah. Department. We're so. yeah, I think all of us are very, very worried about her bellicosity, um, and it it seems to me um, we we don't we don't see how that is going to change. I mean, um, I I I don't think most of us don't want that. I, I don't know of anyone except some defense contractors. I would be happy about mm -hmm. that. The perhaps neocons. Re yes. Really neocons. The neocons and, like her. Yeah, yes. they do. Yeah. I, and I, speaking of which, I think just the other day, uh, one of the Koch brothers thought that uh, her <laughs> election would be pro um, preferable to the, <laughs> the, the GOP. Trump. Yeah, they say, which they says say a lot. she'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Andy Borowitz has a funny joke article. It says about an unusual marriage about to happen. The Koch brothers are going to buy their first Democrat. <laughs> 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 and then I missed said, that one. I'll they have would to like, see they it. would like Donald Trump, but he might leave us for a younger country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Well, we got to have him. We got to have him. We just got to keep getting behind him, you know, and keep him going because he's he's the only option to me. Yeah. I, I there's not anybody out there that speaks the way he speaks to this people. This is a woman who is TPP. You are doing a magnificent job making people aware Thank of you. free trade and what it means. Right, and that's why Bernie's my guy. Yes. yes. You know, um, he's got to be there. He's got to scrap it. So. And he will. If for nothing else, just to, to knock that out and start over. I'm afraid, I'm afraid that no matter what happens, and I, of course, we're going to work our, ourselves uh, to the bone for his victory, uh, but regardless of the outcome, uh, it's obvious that the political system and, and the financial system, and just the system in general, is broken, and yes. no one is going to play that game anymore. Right. And uh, if he doesn't win, then it's really scary. It is. Uh, but uh, even if he is there, we're still going to continue to have to push. He's, because he's going to need us to do that. Yeah. He can't do it by himself. He's going to need us to push uh, because um, we have to be the wind in his sail. But there is a site, Team Bernie's Dark Meme, I think. You can find it. That is listing all the uh, down-ballot candidates who support Bernie. That's right. So that we can get behind Great them. Point. Yes. And you can send them, you don't have to send them the $27, mm -hmm. the big money that you mm -hmm. sent Bernie, but you could send five or you could yeah. send 10 just to say we're voting for you already. Yes. Right. And yeah. I, think, I think Bernie has also put out a, a, a request for a few, a few congressional uh, folks who are running that are, that are along Bernie's lines, uh, Lucy Flores and Tim Canova, Tim Canova and Donna Edwards, yes. quite, so Jamie teacher, Raskin. Teach out. Oh, yeah, teach Zephyr, out. Teach Zephyr Teach Out. Yeah. Zephyr yes. Teach Out, Tim oh, Canova. Yeah. There are yeah. lots of good people yes. out there who will yeah. come. Yes. You know, when the New York Post tried to accuse him of not knowing what he was talking about, I thought, number one, can you imagine a president, can you imagine the people who will come running to work for Bernie? Oh, gosh. Can you imagine the bright? They were irresponsible because, uh, first off, it, it's, it's fairly well known by anyone that wants to look it up that um, there was a letter signed by 170 economists 
that that Baptist plan, including you know the top top drawer uh, economists from other administrations, including Bill Clinton's old administration. Mm -hmm. So um, Robert Robert yeah, Reich, not, not just yeah, yeah. Robert Reich. Yeah. There's yeah. other yeah. there's yeah. other people well, that people jump need, ship. So they to need speak. to listen to the progressive news and not the mainstream media yes. because yes. they're not getting correct information that at all. That is true. It's being distorted and it just needs to stop and people need to reach out and get right. to the real meat of things and not listen to mainstream media, period. And you know, on Wednesday, the first Wednesday of the month of May, I'm going to be interviewing on KVMR and you can go on my uh, Facebook page. I'm going to be interviewing Harvey Wasserman who's going to talk about electoral fraud which we have yes. suffered from. Right, and we know that's uh, a huge issue. Oh, Election yes. dysfunction. With the Bernie yeah. voters. It, it's been alarming. Yes. Yeah. I think I, I hope that someone does a comprehensive study when this is mm -hmm. all state and by state. stops sta it. State yes. by state yes. all the way back. And and uh, we we have a complete autopsy report right. because Heads it's need needed. To roll. Uh, yes. And yes. all the fixes need to really come from the national level. I think it's crazy that not only do we have to worry about state to state, but county to county mm -hmm. even. Yeah. Yeah. Ridiculous. It's, it's, yeah. it's insane. Because yeah. yeah. you can barely watch when you have when you have your eye on the nation. Right. You can barely watch that, but if you have to watch every county and then every state right. and then every little jurisdiction. I, I, I think it was two years ago in Sacramento County, Democrats were left off the sample ballot and then they had to <laughs> they had to actually send out an addendum to the That's sample ridiculous. ballot so yeah it's it's, well, it's be aware of people be and careful we're coming to the end of our show yes. i know we could go on for a couple more hours but unfortunately we please our please, time is up for this show please check your registration and remember you have until may 23rd and i want to thank you all for being here karen eric my best it's buddy fun. here. It's been, it's been fun. fun. I love well, seeing. It's true. I love it's seeing you when you. Uh, I thought, gosh, you've really been gone that long. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I know. I know. No. Well, she's, uh, her spirit's still here when we come in the studio. Well, I, know it is. Here. I know we're well represented. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Jeannie. So yeah, thank turn you, off your media. Yeah. Don't don't yeah. give them a dime of your time. It'll rot your brain. <laughs> It'll, it does rot your It'll brain. It'll rot your brain. And it hurts your heart. Yes. Yeah, I agree. She's counting us down. We did it. <laughs> wow. That was I think painless. we got a lot in. Yeah.